Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you are new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it would really, really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to go. Okay, so let's start. So, something which has been playing on my mind lately, and I had no intention of doing this clip at all, but I've been out today, so I've booked, uh, I booked the day off of work today, and I went out with my brother and my mum, and um, it was only just to do some, some shopping and things, and just to pick up a few bits and pieces which we needed, um, but it was very clear to me that I had a lot of looks. Now, Unfortunately, I'm going through quite a lot of health problems and things lately. Um, I have been for a number of years now, but it's got this year has been 2021 and last year has been particularly difficult for it in regards to what should have been really simple hernia repairs. Those simple hernia repairs affected my uh, right leg and they gave me a lot of nerve related problems, a lot of bladder problems from the surgery, and it's been progressively getting a lot worse to the point now um, I have a real problem putting a lot of weight on my right leg. In fact, I have a lot of problem and a lot of pain um, putting that foot to the ground quite a lot of the time. So when I'm out and about, um, I often use crutches to help. I always use one because I find two a little bit of a hindrance. Um, and if I don't use it, I have a very, uh, a very bad, I hate using this, but I have a very bad limp um, and I have a very I have a very bad walk, unfortunately. Um, I hide it quite well because I stay positive and I stay really upbeat and I stay happy. Um, and I try to as much as possible. And this is what this clip is all about. Um, but it's difficult sometimes. It's really difficult sometimes. And I could understand if somebody else in a different situation or worse would not deal with it in a very positive uh, or manner, to be honest with you. Um, but, um... <sighs> I've been thinking about doing a clip like this for a little while, and on the way back uh, in the car with my brother and my mum, I was thinking, and I felt quite silent, and I have all these sort of issues going on, and I, and I could feel, and even my brother pointed out the different looks and things I was getting, and everybody's very quick to jump to my defence anyway, and I have an amazing family. But do you know what? Very often, uh, a question or sort of a, a response gets put to me is um, how you do it, or how you stay so upbeat, and I'm at work still all the time, um, and my manager very often says to me um, how positive I am, and I'm inspirational, um, and my mum, and different people in my family, my dad, my brothers, um, friends, what have you, um, it's been mentioned to me quite a lot. Um, some days I'm not always as positive, I have to admit, I'm not always that sort of happy, bubbly person which I like to think I am on my channel. Um, if you're following my uh, channel, my story, um, it's usually sort of uh, titled Hernia Nightmare, because that's exactly what it's been. It's been a living nightmare for nearly four years now, actually. Um, my first surgery was November 2017. My second surgery was July 2018. My next surgery for my bladder was last September, so September 2020. And I'm awaiting, I, I hope, um, a final surgery to be able to put things all back right. Um, but it's uncomfortable. And you know what? Here's what gets me through. Let me share with you. Here's what gets me through. And I look in the mirror very often. And if I have a really bad day, or if I have a moment where I think, what next? Is it ever going to get better? Is it ever going to go back to how it was? Um, I have a lot of people look at me when I'm walking around. I have a lot of people make comments and things um, to me about, and you sort of get this reaction like, oh, where they see me, how I'm walking. Um, I could show you, but I don't want to. I'll be honest, I don't want to. I don't want my channel to be about that. I don't want it to almost be um, me asking for a response because I really don't want that. Um, I still absolutely persist. I like to do everything myself. I do not like help at all. Um, even if I'm uncomfortable or if I'm in a lot of pain afterwards, I don't like that. And I know that's the stress to my family as well because they would rather help me. But um, no. No, not at all. I really like to be as independent as possible. I don't like anybody to help me, and I know that sometimes we have to have help. Um, but here's what gets me through, and hopefully this helps you a little bit as well. So first things first, and this is going to sound so mundane, but to be positive. I think when you have a problem where what should have been simple, and you start off on this long journey, like with any health problem, it should have been simple for me. It's not. It's been really complex. It's been really horrific, really horrible. Lots of pain. I'll be quite honest with you. I'm a 27 year old man. I have literally cried with this of not knowing what to do. The pain. I've been in uh, A&E several times. I have tried all different medications to try and put things back right. Um, 
and if anything, it's getting it's getting worse. It's getting worse. To be quite honest with you, I'm now waiting to see a uh, specialist, hot, world-renowned post-operative hernia pain uh, surgeon. Um, I'm opting to try and have the mesh taken out because it's all mesh-related problems, and I have several pieces of mesh in my groin. Um, which is causing me a lot of problems to the point now where if I bend or if I move or if I cough or sneeze or anything like that, I get a sharp pain. So something's obviously not right there. And my leg changes colour and, and all sorts of things. And, it, and it's just been awful, to be quite honest with you. Never had a bl bladder problem in my life before, but since having this, I cannot really be without being near a bathroom. And for five months, um, it's been fantastic. But they said when I had the bladder distension done, which was the surgery which I had done, um, they said that it would give me a window of five to six months of everything being okay. I personally think it's what's going on in my groin which is causing me the bladder problems now, because I did have a bit of a respite with it, but now it seems to be coming back quite prolific again. But as I say, this is what gets me through. Being positive. Now, that sounds quite, oh well, how, how type thing. Being positive. Thinking that it will come to an end one day. It will get better. And this phase of my life will move forward. And I'll look back on this. And the thing that gets me through with that is to be positive, to be positive for the future, to think about that there are things I want to do. There are a huge amount of things I want to do in my life. Um, I'm only 27. I could turn around and say, here, I've got these problems and I'm only 27. But for me, I choose to say I'm only 27. There's so much more positive things ahead. And there will be, because I make that choice to look forward in a positive notion. Um, but also to be positive in terms of there's so much more to come. And this has been a huge mountain in my life, but there was good before when I started my 20s, and there will be good after this. Um, and I keep reminding myself that when I have a bad day, I think, you know what, tomorrow is another day. And um, one of my sayings, which I heard many years ago now, is that no one is promised a tomorrow. And I really try to live each day in a real positive manner and think that actually, OK, you're not feeling great. You're not feeling very good. But let's not sort of let's not spread that that sort of air to anybody else. Let's be positive. Let's wear a smile. We can all wear a smile. It's through choice. We can feel like broken glass inside, but we can have a choice to wear a smile and to be positive because then that spreads more positivity and in turn you will feel better. It sounds difficult, doesn't it? And believe you me, it is, but it helps. It helps. I've had nearly four years of practice. <laughs> um, birthdays, Christmas, one thing and another. You have to you have to really force that, that positivity and eventually it comes. It's not always hard, um, but I always like to think that this works in with my next no, uh, my next sort of point here is to be grateful. Now that sounds horrendous, doesn't it, when you're unwell? But to be grateful. And when I have a bad day, number one, I always think to be positive. I'm, and I always, always think be positive, Bradley. Next is be grateful. Now that sounds crazy, doesn't it? But to be grateful for what you have. So I have an amazing family. I have amazing parents. I have an amazing nan. I have amazing grandparents. I live in a lovely home. Um, I have a fantastic support network. I have no sort of um, career worries, financial worries, that type of thing. So I am truly, truly grateful and truly grateful health wise. Even though I've got these problems, it could have been so, so much worse. So I can't quite remember if it was the start of last year. No, it was the start of 2019. And I had a health scare around my throat. I had real problems swallowing and I had a health scare. Um, and that was horrific. I went through absolute worry, terror and everything. Um, you can well imagine what we're talking about here. And that was frightening. And I'm grateful. There are some people I could have been in that time of my life. I could have been told something sinister. But I am grateful. I choose to be grateful because of everything I have. And I will get through this. And I think that's the attitude you've got to have. You've got to take that attitude. And then do you know what? The next thing what moves me on, it, uh, which which keeps spurring me on in life, is to think of others. So for example, in my immediate family, my nan, who I'm so, so close to, my mum's mum, so she's almost like a second mother to me. In fact, she, she has been. Um, but I always have been blessed in this life because I've had two amazing mums. My nan has Alzheimer's. And you know what? Alzheimer's, whoever, ever, who doesn't know Alzheimer's or dementia, um, 
that person is being taken from you whilst they are still in front of you, whilst they are still living. You see that same person, but you see them fade away. But you know what? Right from the onset of this uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, I have stood with my mum, with my nan, right from number number one, right from that first step, um, right to this current day. And soon my nan is to turn 95, and she's still in very good health. Of course, her mind isn't very good, but she is still in, thank goodness, thank the Lord, that she is in, that was touching my head, by the way, not sorting the hair out, touch my head. She is in reasonably good health, and she still remains very strong. And it's almost like that my nan holds two fingers up to Alzheimer's dementia, and almost like, do you know what? No. I'm pushing on. I'm carrying on. And I, I, I find that such an inspiration, and my nan is such an inspiration to me. So when I say to think of others, when you're in your situation, it is so easy to sort of feel so gloom and so down and so sort of in this black hole. And you can make things worse because mental health issues start to come on. You feel depressed, you feel down, and it just all starts piling up on top of you. And shortly, it's difficult to get back up from that. So always think of others. So when I'm having a bad day, I always think to myself, do you know what? It is a bad day. It is a bad day. But think of what my nan's going through. Think of what other people are going through. And I know that sounds, wow, that's that's hard when you're in a pain. That's hard when you're in discomfort. And believe you me, I've felt pain with this. I really, really have. Um, but thinking of others, being grateful, being positive, it's what gets me through. So if I have a bad day, do you know what? I look at myself in the mirror and I give myself a talking to and I think, do you know what? Come on, Bradley. Yeah, you're having a bad day. Grit your teeth. Scream if you need to, hypothetically in here. Um, but be positive. Smile. Be grateful. You have an amazing family. And do you know what? Some people haven't got that. So that gets me through hugely. And think of others. Think of others. There are people in this world every minute of the day, and we know this through the coronavirus pandemic, which we're all living through at the moment. People are no longer here, which should be. Think of what people go through. That's what I do. I think, yeah, do you know what? I'm in so much pain. I'm in so much discomfort. I could absolutely cry my eyes out. I don't know what I'm going to do in life. And then you think to yourself, do you know what? But you've still got your family. There are people out there who have lost mums, dads, grandparents, friends, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, that hasn't happened to me, thankfully. So all of that gets me through. I suppose my last thing is, and this is of course a choice, but I choose to have faith. I choose to pray. I choose to have faith in the Lord. And that is what gets me through a lot as well. But of course, that is a big choice. You cannot push that on other people at all. But one thing what you can do is that you can help people in thinking that, do you know what? Yes, you're in a bad situation, but it will improve. Brighter days will follow. Positivity. Grateful. If you don't have a money worry in the world, yeah, you might not be happy, but be grateful. If you have a fantastic family, be grateful. If you have the most amazing top career, but you're not feeling great, be grateful. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be those big things. The smallest thing. Sometimes just being grateful for the smallest thing. Having somebody to talk to. Be grateful. So many people throughout this pandemic of the coronavirus haven't even got a soul to talk to. Do you know what I mean? As I'm going through all of this, it really makes my own problems feel, yeah, no less awful, but it helps to put things into perspective that actually things aren't necessarily as bad. Even though they are right now for you, they might not in the future. This is what gets me through. This mindset gets me through. Believe you me, this took time to get here. Um, and yeah, that's it, to be honest with you. And I choose to be positive. I choose to think of others. And I choose to be grateful, which I think is the biggest one. Be grateful and smile. OK, thanks very much for sharing this with me. I really, really very much have enjoyed uh, this clip. I certainly have indeed. Thank you very much for sharing it with me. If you have any questions or if you'd like to ask me more about my situation, feel free. I love to share it. I'm so grateful for all of my subscribers. I absolutely love receiving comments and messages and things. And I receive some incredible ones as well. And so much support too with my situation. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And we're on a Friday afternoon now. So I hope you have a really, really amazing weekend. Stay well, stay healthy. And remember, when you next have your bad day, whether you're in poor health, good health, or just having a low moment, think 
to be positive. Think to be grateful. Think of those around you. Thanks very much. Until next time, we will see them. Bye-bye now.